Harley Quinn is a character that originally started off in the Batman the Animated Series and immediately proceeded to take place and become one of the household names of DC. She became one of the most popular characters so quickly and has so immediately taken center stage in almost a lot of different stories and has gained her own massive giant fan base. And today I'm just going to be specifically talking about why in all my opinions I feel that Harley Quinn is truly and honestly Batman's perfect villain. I'm only saying this for so many different reasons but in all cases, this stands true because of Batman's personality and who Harley Quinn is as a character and who is she portrayed to be from the entirety of the time that we've met her. Harley Quinn obviously started off as a psychiatrist and eventually got persuaded by the Joker to do so many different things and came into a complete down spiral of personality and became the Harley Quinn that we all know and love. But all of that is actively why she makes for such the perfect villain for Batman. Batman has a full thing on his entire personality that one doesn't allow him to kill, doesn't allow him to like absolutely just murder all of his characters and all of his villains, which could be viewed as good or bad depending on how you view his entire moral code. But we can at least all agree that no matter what, his moral code usually does cause a lot more problems in terms of most of his villains are usually unredeemable. What I mean by that is we have characters like the Joker, Killer Croc, and so many different others that could never be redeemed because they have no redeeming qualities. The Joker is a mass murderer psychopath that will kill anybody strictly for the fun of it. And don't get me wrong. Harley Quinn is the exact same, but she has one major difference that makes her so different from all of Batman's villains and makes her such a perfect character and villain for Batman. She can be redeemed. Harley Quinn, as I've already stated, started off as your average person and eventually fell into this lane of despair and this lane of absolute just sadness and full on betrayal and brainwashing via the Joker that she couldn't really even see what's up from down, what's left to right, and was just absolutely in a very bad place. But we've seen through the comics, through the shows, and all of the different things that she's been into, from the original animated series, to her own comics, to her own actual TV show that she has now, that she is able to actively usually be a decent person, whether it being an active hero, ask anti-hero, a per member on the Suicide Squad, usually helping out and doing some kind of good deeds. She's not a completely evil and vindictive person like most of the other Batman villains, which means Batman actually has a chance to be able to actively save her to make her go back to the person that she once was and actively stop her from her life of crime. Batman's active usual thing is sending people to Arkham, which is obviously where Harley worked originally. But her his active main goal, send people to Arkham, at least maybe try to have them be redeemed or take care of their mental issues and hopefully see if they could actually become a better person. See if they could actually stop doing the things that they're doing, which obviously never actively works, but Harley is a different case. She will go in and she's actually, yes, you can't fix her from her mental issues and all of the hurt and all of the damage that she's been done, but she at least acknowledges and knows that she can do better. She can actively be somewhat of a good person. Yes, she will kill for her own fun. And yes, she can't be redeemed in the sense of going back into the person that she originally was and becoming Harleen Quinzel and being this normal psychiatrist and being the same person that she was before she met the Joker. But she can at least go into a person that is somewhat nice, somewhat respectful, and actively someone that a lot of people actually have come to respect and actively adore. She has been through like so many different characteristics from the original to the new 52 and have actually been able to grow so much that even now, no matter what, everybody still loves her. 
We've seen her from the Suicide Squad movies and even the new To Kill the Justice League game. And she has become so popular and she has become such like a house name brand that everybody has grown to love her. And the main reason why is because of the fact that she actually someone that you can actively root for. She's someone that you can at least see, OK, this is who she is. She can do better. She might do better soon. The Joker, yes, while being one of the most popular and easily one of the most recognizable villains, nobody could ever say that. Nobody can say, oh, yeah, this is the Joker. I think I can fix him. I think I can actively be able to show him the true light of his ways, which obviously, hilariously enough, is how Harley actively got started. She got completely manipulated by the Joker told like told that oh this is what happened to me this was my sad story this is the reason that i was like this this is the reason that i choose to do all of these different things and all of these vile and evil acts and i have a good reason to do all of it she was completely taken in and encapsulated by the joker to the point that she eventually helped and released him released him into the public and actively became his girlfriend, his actual true spouse that he has been actively a, a part with and like act and she has been his main love interest for so many different parts of the entirety of the story. And yes, obviously, they're not together as of right now. And Harley's actively been able to figure out the Joker is probably not the person you want to be re really spending the rest of your life with. But the Batman could at least see that, hence why he usually kind of treats Harley with at least somewhat respect. And Batman and Harley ha usually, depending on like obviously where you're watching and like exactly like whether it's which comic or which TV show, you could see that the Batman usually treats Harley somewhat decently. He understands that none of this is completely her fault. Yes, the actions should still be accounted for by the person that's committing them. And she can't be held responsible for like, oh, yeah, she can't be like, oh, I was completely like in the wrong. Like, yes, she can't be. Oh, yeah, I was completely in the wrong. I did this. I did that. It's not my fault. She has to be somewhat held accountable for actions. But Batman and anybody else could conclude that she wasn't in the right state of mind. And she's usually never in the right state of mind because of the mental abuse all of the physical torture and all of the mental anguish that the Joker has caused her, leading her to the point that she is basically become brainwashed by him. Whether it's her knowing that the Joker is wrong for him, like wrong for her, and still actively coming back multiple times and saying like, hi, Puddin, you still love me. I like, uh, and like, she like she thinking that oh yeah he still loves her and even if he like completely beats her whatever she still thinks that he will always be there for her she has gotten to the point where no matter what kind of pain and no what kind of whatever anguish or whatever he does she will still find a way to forgive him and come back crawling to him eventually she gets to the point where she actively knows that this isn't what's right this isn't how I should be doing it and I should actively start thinking better of myself. But for a good long portion of the time that she's been around for the last 30 years, she was just completely in this never ending cycle of knowing that the Joker is bad for her, trying to leave the Joker sucking her back in. And this is why the Batman actively understands her so well and why she is just such a good villain because he understands and i'm going to say this multiple times she wasn't always at fault she was tricked and became a completely different person than the person that she was originally and is now just kind of stuck the way that she is whether it's because of the fact that her skin is bleached now and she's already gone too far off the edge that she can never go back he still understands that she's not a complete villain She's not this person that will murder all of these people for absolutely no reason and just like commit like com complete mass genocide, mass like petricide, mass whatever for the sheer fun of it. Yes, she po could possibly because it is still Harley, but he at least knows that she has the potential to do the right thing. She has the potential to do good and she's someone that you could actively talk down. The Joker, 
the Riddler, the Penguin, and so many of uh, others of Batman's villains cannot be talked down. They can't be talked down to the point of, oh, you were able to do this. This is what happened to you. You shouldn't be doing what you're doing. Come on, choose the right path. Don't do this. All of the other Batman's villains would never actively calm down and would still do whatever they need to do until the point that Batman would stop them. Harley, on the other hand, actively has a chance of listening to Batman and actively just, oh yeah, I'm not doing the right thing. I'll stop. Let's continue on. Depending, obviously, on the situation and which Harley we are talking about, but he at least understands that that possibility is an option. So it's not someone that he has to just completely be worrying out for. Hence why I love their relationship and I love the fact that she is one of his like main kind of villains in a sense, because we at least know she will be there. She will be someone that he can actively look for and count on in the sense of being a good villain for him and a good match for him. Hence why I'm actively glad that she was created because she is one of the only villains that we can actively say this about for Batman's case. She is truly the only one that we could actively have any redeeming qualities and redeeming characteristics about in all senses throughout of all of Batman's villains, whether we're talking about the Arkham games, the comics, the movies, the TV shows, every single thing. She is the only one that actually has one caring for Batman, like has actually any emotional connection to Batman that she's like, OK, I'm actively sorry. She actually has some feelings for Batman in the sense that she understands that this is a good person and they actually share some kind of a bond in the sense that they are pseudo friends and pseudo enemies at the same time hence like his relationship with catwoman or whatever they have this mutual understanding with each other what hence why they just make for such a good pairing and hence why she is just such a good character but please tell me what you guys do think about this idea and like what you guys think do think about harley as a whole i um, down in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video i hope you guys did enjoy this and make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel and check out all the other content that i do be posting but i will see you guys in my next video i hope you guys do enjoy but peace. And if you guys did enjoy this video, YouTube thinks that you guys would also enjoy these.